to the second way. But let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Because this says players walk out before the spring. I still, I'm going to go with my original thought. I think they walked out because they wasn't on the depth chart. We'll see what Deion said. I think they wasn't on the depth chart the way that they thought they might have been. And they, they, they know they want to play. And you got to think, usually when a new coach comes, about half the team is going to transfer anyway. So I don't think it's that big. I just wanted to say that just to see, just because I don't know. Alarming, right? But is that a testament to you, you know, switching out your Louis bags for the Walmart bags? Kids realize he's all about himself. Another one under that, it's all about Dion and they see it. But check this out. Coach Prime has just recently exposed the truth about why all these players are leaving. And this is another classic reason why I respect this man so much. He tells it how it is. He did say he was coming in with the Louis bag. Whew. Man, oh man, I hope y'all ready for another prime time video. Because what I'm about to show you in this video, it made me drop my mouth. If y'all want me to be brutally honest, I'm just simply overwhelmed with everything currently going on in the past 48 hours with this program and team. It feels like it's all we've talked about the past couple of days, but yet it also feels like there's so much more stuff I gotta go over and cover. We haven't even covered half of it. Seems like every single time I post a video, there's a new major update. Yesterday, for example, we posted a video in the morning saying, hey, their star wide receiver, Montana Ammonius Craig, he's leaving. Next thing I know, I go to the store, come back two hours later, half the team's in the portal. We already talked all about that last night. If you haven't seen this video, I'll pop it up right here. You might want to watch it. It's 13 minutes long, but we go over pretty much everything. At least everything up to this point. If you don't want to check on that video, that's cool. I'll sum up a long story short. 17 players yesterday alone entered the portal. Yeah, crazy. I'm not going to look it up because I'm just going to assume there's got to be some kind of record. But I want you to take a look at this number. We are now at 41 in total. Oh, wait, 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 my bad, my bad. The newest update just came out an hour ago. That number from 41 has jumped up to 46. My apologies. You get the point. 41, 46, 50, who cares? The team's being completely turned upside down. But here's what we're going to talk about in today's video. A lot of people are saying, I see it everywhere. People stating, oh, these kids, they're finally realizing that Coach Prime, he's all about himself. He's a narcissist. He's all about him. He's this, he's that, blah, 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 blah. You get the point. You know what people are saying about him. But check this out. Coach Prime has just recently exposed the truth about why all these players are leaving. And this is another classic reason why I respect this man so much. He tells it how it is. He doesn't lie to you. He doesn't even give you coach talk. He just tells you straight up the truth. Now, whether you like that or not, of course, that's up to you, and that's okay. We're going to check all that out, and it's safe to say you are not. And let me repeat this. You're not going to miss this video. All right, man, blah, blah, blah. You know, do all that nice stuff. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road there. And okay, all right, man, blah, blah, blah. Shut the crap out now without further ado. That's so here are some of the comments where people are addressing all these guys leaving, and I thought it was interesting. I'll show you the first two I see right here, and I haven't even looked at these. I'm just scrolling through. Kids realize he's all about himself. Another one under that, it's all about Dion, and they see it. Mmm, interesting, interesting. I ain't going to say too much about that, but check this one out. Crime dealing with a bunch of silver spoon-fed breath. A lot of people don't know this, but if you have the YouTube app on your phone, you could be using it to make bets. This is a good thing. He is about a humble team that wants to bond together. Another comment right under that. Prom is purging all the brat down and going to build back up as one unit. Maybe his old school coaching doesn't fit with today's soft deep my way kids. Believe me, I know. You need to work on your commas too. You should have put a comma after kids. Under that, he's coaching and holding them accountable and it goes on and on and on. That's a good sample size. There's not just thousands, but there's tens of thousands of comments. I would love to read them all, but I'm not going to do that. Next up, I'm going to show you this video clip and I really like what this guy's got to say. I'm also going to give him a quick shout out. He actually knows what he's talking about, which is rare, by the way, nowadays. His name's Rico Knows on TikTok. He posted a lot of short form content, but I think it's valuable. I think it's good. I'm going to show you what he had to say. Matt wrote a clip. Oh, yeah, by the way, sorry, Matt forgot to give context. So basically, he's talking about how everybody's saying, oh, yeah, this was brutal. It was a terrible day. And he's giving his take. All right, now, Matt wrote a clip. Today was a shaky day for Deion Sanders in Colorado. Yesterday, Montana, Lamontius, only got one minute. I don't follow this channel at all, but nah. Not a shaky day for Colorado. Not a shaky 48 hours. A very calculated 48 hours. If you count Chance Main when he departed mid-spring, there are 29 Colorado players on the board right now. 29 from the spring section, and that's quite all right. Losing a recruit, 
doesn't matter. People lose recruits all off season. Recruiting websites talk about it for months and months, if not years. Guys flip, top six, top eight. I don't give a shit. None of that has any bearing on what's going to happen on the field. Half those recruits sign, show up, they're added depth, and they hit the transfer portal after one or two years. If you're looking at the 2D, Colorado has lost about five guys from the current 2D. They're all very replaceable. But of the 39 guys that have left at 1 and 11 team, not a single one of them impacts the win total or the projected win total of next season. And now Coach Prime just needs a bunch of scholarships available for his post-high school graduate tryouts. That's for JUCOs and transfer portal players. I'm going to say it again. Much love, much respect to this Rico Nose guy. Go shoot him a follow if you got TikTok and you're on there a lot. And this is just one of his videos. He's had about five, six, seven videos where I've watched. I'm like, dang, this guy, he knows football. And what I like about him the most is he provides facts and evidence with all of his claims, just like he did in that video. He showed you, hey, Coach Prime's got this camp coming up. He's going to pick up some players there. And he also told you, hey, yeah, a bunch of guys left, what would he say, 29 or something when he made that video, but only about five of them played. He didn't just sit up here and say, no, I don't think it's a big deal. He actually explained why it's not. So I respect that. And it goes back to the Montana Lamonius Craig thing we talked about. He's leaving because he's not going to start. He's not going to play. I said it before, but I do want to make this clear. I talked to a lot of these college football guys. I've talked to a lot of guys in the See, and that's the thing, man, about, and I thought about this with Lamonius Craig. It's like, you got to look at it like, because of the media Colorado getting now, even a game like a spring game or a scrimmage is like a national, you know, exposure game because of all the attention it's getting. So if he had... A few touchdowns, you know, a bunch of catches, nice plays. He's going to be able to use that to leverage himself. You know, and players are looking at it like a business now. So that's kind of what I look at it like. Like I said, he, they saying that he heard they got a lot of other players coming in in his same position. Is what it is, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. Let's let it play. Portal. 99.9% .9 of the players that enter the portal is because they're not playing. They want to go to a school.